Welcome to Central Park. This has always been a magical place, especially on Sundays, because throughout the park you can see lots of wonderful magicians performing their close-up illusions for the crowds. Now I'd like to show you two of my favorite small illusions. And I need two people from the audience to come up and help me. There's two little people right out. Can you come up here, please? Yeah, little girl and little guy. Hi there. There we go. What's your name? This is Edna. And what's your name? David. David. Will you come and sit right there, David? And Edna, you come and sit right down there and watch the amazing illusions. And I'd like to tell you that, like all my magic I do on TV, there's absolutely no trick photography. Everything you see at home, the audience is seeing right here in the theater. Now, the first illusion I'd like to show you is an illusion with an ordinary, everyday object found, I'm sure, in every household throughout the world. This, as I'm sure you know, Edna and David, is a Rubik's Cube. As you can see, there are nine little colored squares on each side, and the colored squares are completely mixed up. Also, the sides of the cube move every which direction like this, and as you can see, the colors just get more and more mixed up. That is unless you're a genius or you spend hours and hours trying to solve the puzzle, and then you can get a solid color on each side. Personally, I have to solve the puzzle by magic. It's gonna happen instantly and visibly. Watch. Now! Well, thank you! Thank you! Now, that was a very modern illusion. I'd like to show you now one of the oldest illusions in magic. It's called the cups and balls. Now, this was done many, many centuries ago, and the magicians always use two or three cups and two or three balls. I've simplified it a little bit for you, Edna, and for you, David. I'm only going to use one little copper cup and one green ball. Now, I'm going to explain what's going to happen. Then you can help part and participate, okay? Now, I take the little green ball, Edna and David, I put it inside the cup, and I shake it up like that, and I take it and put it inside of my pocket. Okay, and you're supposed to guess whether the ball is under the cup or in my pocket. Have you got that? Okay, let's begin. You got, okay, the ball goes right down inside of the cup. I shake it up like this, and I take it and I put it down inside of my pocket. Now, Edna, do you think the ball is in my pocket or under the cup? Under the cup. Under the cup. Are you sure you don't want to change your mind? Yes, I do. Where do you think now? And you, you have to watch a little closer, Edna, okay? Let's try something a little bit easier now. The ball is going to penetrate right through the handkerchief, leaving no hole. That's what makes it magical. I put the ball right on top of the handkerchief, and we cover it with the cup to make it a little bit more mysterious. Watch, it's going to pass right through. Look, the ball went right down inside of the... Wait a minute. Look, the little ball got scared and went home. <laughs> yeah, thank you. This time, the ball is going to pass into the glass, through the cup, and through the handkerchief. Now, I'm going to take the ball, David, and put it down inside of my pocket. And it's going to pass into the cup, either visibly or invisibly. How would you like to see it go? Yes. Invisibly, through the air. Did you see it go? Well, you should have, because look, there it is, right down inside of the glass. Now this time, this time, Edna, I'm going to do the same thing, a little bit faster. It goes down inside of my pocket, and it's going to go invisibly to the cup. Did you see it go? Well, you should have, because look, it's a lemon. But that's not what really amazes me. What floors me is how this onion gets in here. <laughs> Especially since they don't even fit inside the cup. Yeah. Now you're going to see something truly amazing. During my career as a magician, I've made many things vanish. Beautiful women, tigers, once even a 7,000-pound elephant. But right now, I'm going to perform my greatest vanishing feat of all. In fact, it's called the vanishing feat. Because I'm going to make my own two feet 
vanish. First of all, <laughs> I will make my right foot vanish. <laughs> You're laughing. <clears throat> Next, I will bring my right foot back and make my left foot vanish. Now is a grand finale. I will make both feet vanish.